okay so today we'll see how to update and delete into the SQLite and after that we'll proceed to something called as UI thread how to deal with the UI thread we'll see multiple things we'll see async task how async task works and how handlers work right then how rx java works so bit new topic i'm introducing rx java a little bit about the rx java okay now let's see how sqlite update works so here is the update here i would be getting the database in the right mode okay let me close immediately db dot close immediately let me close it this and after that you can see db dot update see how many parameters it is asking you for update this and it is asking you these many things like this see here table content values then where clause then where arguments just remind the update query how update query works table name is what my name my table remember that you can create the constants for this thing in some DB file don't write like this make some constants okay values is equals to new content values where clause and the arguments that we are going to use in the where clause say new or say this much database array it is needing array so we are passing the array over there now update table you need to pass the table then values and then you are going to pass where clause and then where are args this thing where clause and where args simple values what you want to update I want to update values dot put and what is there what do you want to update age you want to update or you want to update name from age right so what whatever you want to update put that thing over here see my name I want to update my name so I'm doing thing my name over here right and get my name that is from the text box my name or edit text right don't don't put age remember that where clause can never be updated means if you are updating from age don't update the age itself right that is not possible so my name from the age I'm updating the name okay where my age is equals to question mark where what my age is equals to question mark and instead of question mark you can pass my age make sure that you are converting it to string dot value of this int it is a good practice instead of writing double quotes plus thing likewise we did yesterday somewhere right somewhere we have did that yes see here instead of such thing make string dot value of right okay now insert update so db dot update it will update this on this table these values this is a where clause and where arguments it is going to update this thing let's see our code is working or not let me run the code and see what happens now so this is how your update will work right here you are going to pass I want to update the name from the age and here you are going to pass some solid or replacement to this question mark placeholder and then update query would be getting fired update once you get to know how to work with the crude operations right you can fire any other queries after that we are going to see something raw query how you are going to fire some raw kind of query means SQL plain SQL how you are going to fire plain SQL right we'll see that as well okay code is running 
let me see the value I think we have taken the text box but I am not going to use it why or there is a no data you can say my name Android and my age is 10 years you can say insert and then say display see name is this so we got the name over here now what I want to do is that I want to update name from age so what I'll do is that if age is 10 make it Android or say Android nugget spelling don't worry about the spelling you can say update right and I want to display the thing you would be getting something different can you see Android nugget presently it was Android and now it is Android nugget update query is in front of you from the age you are updating the name simple from the age you are updating the name right so in the next tutorial we'll see how delete works and into next to next tutorial we'll see how raw query works right so thanks for watching if you like our videos kindly subscribe us